So the Crusaders have done pretty much exactly what um, a lot of people predicted they were going to do. They've gone and beaten the Sharks uh, 40 points to 10 uh, in their quarterfinal. Uh, there was a little bit of talk about the Sharks perhaps being the team to upset the Crusaders, but history wasn't on their side, and um, in terms of the game day, it didn't go their way either. Uh, it seemed pretty windy. Uh, down in Christchurch for this one and it was affecting some of the play with some of the kicks not exactly going where they were meant to be going uh, I'm not sure if that's what kept some of the crowd away I mean I wrote a note that it was an okay crowd okay is probably the best you can say about it there didn't seem to be well it didn't seem to be that well attended for a quarterfinal I suppose a lot of people had already kind of banked on uh, attending perhaps a semi against either the Chiefs or the Hurricanes next week and that's the one that they'll save there uh, their money to go to, but um, yeah, I, I would have hoped for a slightly better crowd, I guess, at a, at a finals match. But anyway, that's just coming from a Blues fan who never gets to go to any finals matches. Um, so yeah, 40 points to 10 for the Crusaders. Hall, Haveli, Todd, Enor, and Samu. Uh, the one try to the Sharks to fun fake. Um, the Sharks, if they were going to get a result from this game, pretty much needed to be on their game. Like, as error-free as you can be. And that was not this game. Uh, they started with a lot of early errors. And it was from their errors which the Crusaders turned into points. As they are so good at doing. You know Schroeder didn't kick the ball. Or he kicked the ball out on the full. Crusaders got a line out. Ended up scoring a try. Uh, Sharks line out ended up getting turned over. Um, just things like that. The line out wasn't operating that well. Another was the Crusaders to be fair. Um, you'd have to say looking at this performance. This wasn't like the the crusaders just cutting the sharks to bits it was more just the crusaders grinding the sharks out of it it definitely wasn't their best performance i don't think in either of the quarterfinals so far uh we've seen any teams really you know performing at 100 percent kind of sharpness but we'll see if we get any of that next week um sharks once they finally started to get some ball and cut out some of the errors they did you know apply some pressure to the crusaders but the crusaders defense is just really solid uh, they only cracked that one time. Uh, Philip van der Valt could have had another trust. That I'm talking about the errors. He he knocked the ball on when they pretty much had a man over. It was just things like that. The Sharks needed to be taking every chance, and uh, it wasn't happening. Crusaders, on the other hand, often when they would get a chance, they would take it. Um, the big battle between Esterhazen and Crotty didn't really eventuate. They both bumped each other off uh, at certain points. Crotty was good in the first half, a bit quieter in the second uh, Esther Hazen was subbed in the second um, arm probably was the better of the midfielders but both those Crusaders midfielders Crotty and Goodhue uh, were making a lot of tackles so uh, you know very good effort from both those guys half time it was uh, I think 16 points to 7 so the Sharks were still in the game uh, despite having you know conceded a pretty big lead early on 13-0 uh, after about 12 minutes so they were conceding a point a minute at the start and looked like it might get embarrassing but um they did come back into it, but as the Crusaders kind of tend to do, once they hit 60-65 minutes, they piled on a few points and really put it out of touching distance for the Sharks. So, Sharks not able to score any tries in the second half, just the one penalty to Rob Dupria. So, yeah, it pretty much went according to the script. The Crusaders still look really hard to beat at home. It's still going to take a team to, to really come out all guns blazing to, to do anything to the Crusaders this year. Um, Hurricanes have got that chance next week. It should be a cracker of a game uh, for the Sharks. This game was kind of a microcosm of their season. They would look great for moments and then just do something atrocious and just look really poor. Uh, just that lack of consistency and sometimes lack of fluidity uh, really cost them. The Crusaders good at the breakdown. A couple of them were kind of a bit sneaky, um, but generally good at the breakdown. Sharks guilty of uh, leaving guys isolated at times, so uh, that also didn't help their cause, but um, congrats to the Beast on his 150th game, uh, congrats to the Crusaders on the win, uh, their season goes on, that game next week against the Hurricanes looks to be a really good one, and can I just say, I mean, at least there were no cards in this game, there was no lengthy TMO, uh, it was mostly just rugby, which was nice for a change, uh, there were a few scrum resets, which was a bit painful early on, but other than that, still pretty good you know 50 points on offer hopefully more people show up next week uh because like i said it should be a good game we'll see how tamani valu goes because he was um 
the kind of one injury worry for the Crusaders. He went off fairly early with a uh, a bump to his head. His head hit the ground when trying to start, uh, stop a try. Uh, didn't look very pretty, so we'll see how he goes. But, I mean, Enor came on and did pretty well in his stead, even if he should have passed a bit earlier for one of his moves. Um, still looked pretty sharp. Uh, in terms of the stats, before I go, I mean... Pretty even in terms of territory and position. They were, at one point, it was like 80% of the Crusaders when they were really dominating, but the Sharks kind of evened things up. Um, key points for the Sharks, though, is just the tackling rate was was not good enough and uh, just turned the ball over too many times. Like I said, handling errors and whatnot. So, yeah, season over for the Sharks. Goes on for the Crusaders. What did you guys think of the game? You guys let me know your thoughts, and I'll uh, talk to you again soon. See you later.